Hello there everyone and welcome back to another video and you may notice something different. This isn't Warbox, that's because today I'm doing something a little bit different. We're going to be playing a game that I and probably anyone else who's ever played this, we probably all suck at it, Kerbal Space Program. And if you're unfamiliar with the Kerbal Space Program, basically you make rocket ships and try to get to the moon or other planets, but like you have to have like a degree in like rocket biology to even do it. So like, you know, most people aren't very good at it, including me. But today, regardless, we're going to be trying to get to the moon. If NASA can do it in like 10 years, surely we can do it in like 20 minutes. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. So let's get into it. But before I start, I just want to thank you for watching this video. Usually when YouTubers try to make videos that are outside of the content they usually make, they get significantly less views. So I want to thank you. For clicking on this video but anyway let's get into it we need to make a new game i guess we should probably go with sandbox mode and we will name it uh we will name it we go space incorporated okay so we are in i have not played this game in years i forgot what to do i guess first we should make a rocket look at all this stuff here on the left let me get to work Right, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Yeah, let's look at that. No, I'm kidding. No, 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 this is not what I made. This is actually, um, it's actually what I made. Here, let me get my first, um, <clears throat> sacrifice and, uh, let's put, let's put them. Oh, they're already in the cockpit. Okay, good job. Let's go, team. All right, now it's time to launch the rocket. How do I make the throttle go up? You know, I'm not gonna lie. If this thing even gets into the air, that's a victory in my book. So, let us start. Whoa. Hey, we're getting up there. Oh, we're... No, guys, the moon's the moon's that way. No, the moon's... Ooh. What is it doing? Trust me, we'll get there eventually. We're just... We just gotta go... See the moon in the background? It's right there. We're almost there. We're almost there. See, we can do it. We can do it. Oh. Ooh. I'm sure they're just fine. Oh, hey, look. They are fine. Oh, jeez. Man, these guys are durable. That's gonna come in handy later. We're gonna have to scrap this. We're gonna have to go with something more simple. Let's get something that can maybe get in the atmosphere and get back down. Presenting to you the special Mark II. It looks a lot worse, actually. <laughs> See, I'm not really sure what I was thinking with the middle right here. I think like our guys just ordered like the wrong size part, but we have to, you know, we're on like a budget here, but we're on a schedule, so we gotta launch this thing anyway. But we'll see what'll happen. I like how everyone in the bottom right here is like, yeah, I'm dead. Never fear, it is time to science. Bruh. I want to launch. All right, I know what the issue is here. I forgot we have to do coupling, so we have to make it so this goes first. Now, we're ready to launch. Countdown. Ready, three, two, one. We have liftoff, we're doing good. Oh, see, that's why the middle of the ship might be an issue here. At least it's like buoyant. Look at it. It's like moving around and stuff. It's a lot more flexible than the last one. If there's one thing that I know rocket science needs, it's flexibility. All right, and then we... Hey, at least there's that... Oh, never mind. Huh. Okay, once again, my second mission. There are also no survivors. We need an even simpler rocket. Just nice, simple, and we're good. All right, we're ready. If this isn't simple, then I don't know what is. Give me a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, we have liftoff. Uh-oh. It, it's not supposed to do that, is it? What did we lose? Is it supposed to do that? I don't think it's supposed to do that. It's working? We're getting air? Come on, guys. See, it's working. This is supposed to happen. Oh, God. This is beautiful. What the hell is going on? <laughs> it's working. You can't tell me that this isn't working. This is peak human development right here. This is what space is supposed to look like right here. And look how much fuel we still have left. I have made the perfect ship. Look how high we're getting up there. Look at that. This is perfect. And look, the moon's in the distance. We can almost reach the moon. We're almost there. Look, we're even like, the rocket's even looking normal. Look how fast we're going. We're going over a thousand meters a second. Jeez. Oh, we're getting way up there. Oh, wow. We're getting too far out there now. I don't want to- Wait, are we gonna like hit the moon or something? No, we're definitely not. We might be getting a little- Guys, I don't- Oh my god! Jesus Christ! I don't think I'm going back to Earth anymore. Is this my new orbit? Oh god. Oh wow. This is very bad. I'm just gonna speed up time some here. Yeah, I don't see Earth anymore. 
Yeah, actually, now it looks like we're um, orbiting around the sun. Guys, just, uh, I think you're running out of food. You're gonna, we're gonna need to sacrifice one of you. Hey, um, Bob, I'm, I'm sorry I have to do this. Just, uh, just, just leave. Yeah. Goodbye, Bob. What happens if I just run into the ship at, like, full speed? Oh! Ow! Where did this ship go? Where did everyone go? So here's our flight events. Lift off. One of our engines exploded. We separated. Bob Gurman went on, um, he, on an EVA mission. He was killed. And he ran into the command pod, killing everyone. Well, that sounds like a successful mission to me. Oh, I can pick a flag? What's the best flag we can pick? I like this one called Trippy, because if we put this on the moon and the aliens saw it, they would be like, what the heck are these guys doing? Um, hello there, new um, applicants to be astronauts. It uh, appears that uh, we just have brand new job openings after our last mission. I wonder why that is. Anyway, guys, uh, jobs just opened up. Let's just, I don't care about your qualifications. Just get all of you in here. We're, gonna, we're, we're going through you guys pretty quickly. That last rocket gave me hope. I'm going to use it, and I'm going to create something that I think can actually like get us in the orbit. All right, here it is. It actually looks pretty good. I mean, if I was an astronaut at NASA and this is what they uh, put me in, I would probably quit my job. But for Jackal, Jackal standards, this is this is not bad. I don't think I changed the middle rocket some and I made these rockets lower up. I put some structure in and we have a brand new crew because um, the other crew quit or something. I don't know. I don't know what happened to him. Anyway, it is time to launch the engines start first. We get some speed. And then we let go. Huh? Oh, look at this. And it's it's kind of stable. It's a it's it it's not supposed to be spinning like that. But, you know, stuff happens. And um oh no. That wasn't supposed to And now we activate the second engines. And um then we activate the parachute, right? See? And beautiful. Look, see we even have uh what look like oh, that didn't sound very good. I think we just like declared war in our neighboring country. Yeah, at least we're gonna land nice and softly. And we did it. We've landed on the moon. Come on, get out here. Plant your flag. We did it. We planted our flag. Site name, first survivors. <laughs> when NASA made their very first rocket launch, do you think they actually had any science planned out? No, they just put a bunch of guys in a rocket and they shot them towards the moon and it worked fine. So that's exactly what we can keep doing. We need to fix this, but I believe it can work. All right, it's clear that this rocket's just not going to cut it. I'm going to make something somewhat decent. All right, the special Mark V has been built. And with, once again, a brand new crew, it honestly doesn't look that bad, I don't think. It's kind of bobbing and weaving, which makes me scared. But I really kind of changed it up here. I made it all the same size because I realized that more size doesn't really equate to anything. It just kind of equates to you flying off into the sun. Kind of cool, but, you know, we're not going for the sun yet. But I think this is where you can... I never actually uh, brought my other crew back over. So um, they're just kind of sitting here with their little flag while they watch this thing go in the air. So once again, we start with the engines, and then we let go. Is it supposed to be bobbing and weaving like that? So the strat, I believe, is you want to, you don't, when you're trying to get in the orbit, you don't want to go straight up, because that's, because it's hard to get into a circular orbit. What you got to do is you got to go at like a 90 degree angle. We're gaining some speed, we're picking up some traction. The atmosphere's trying to pull us down, but when has the atmosphere ever stopped anybody? Cut the engines, cut the engines. Okay, 70k is space line, I remember that. So now we need to go to the, apoapsis which is like the top point add a maneuver and pull it until we can get into a circular orbit and that's as circular as we're going to get okay so it says it's a it says it's a burn time of a minute four so we're going to start burning at 32 all right so we still have our main engines which i was glad because usually we don't have those yet so this is slowly because we're burning alongside our speed with earth it's going to prolong our orbit and should eventually bring us into a circular orbit which looks like we're doing good I've never actually gotten to the moon in this game before. I know how to roughly from like years ago watching some like videos on YouTube, but I've never actually done it. But we, I think we have a chance here. This is, this is going great. How do I cut my engine at once? Okay. That orbit is not very good. We need to flatten that out. I'm going to, I need to do another maneuver. I need to make it as equal as possible. I like how literally minutes ago. I was celebrating my entire crew of the rocket not dying, and now <laughs> the very next rocket attempt, I am trying to go to the moon. Uh, quite the parallel, but I'm ready for it. 
I just did that burn. Look at that on the bottom left. That's like a circular orbit. Oh my. So now we just got to get to the moon. So because we're in a circular orbit, we can pretty much take any route we want. So I say like go like right here. There it is. This is the moon. If I go in close, I can... Oh, I can get within 10k meters of the moon. So now once again, I shift over to my maneuver. And then I just do the burn. Oh my guys, we're going to make it to the moon. I didn't think I could actually do it. This will be my one and only attempt here. I thought my rockets would just be silly, but I actually know what I'm doing, apparently. <laughs> I guarantee all of you who've like played this game before and like are really good at it are just like scolding me right now in the comments or just like this guy's terrible. But hey, try my best here. Like, see, this is this is why I don't understand space. Gimbal. Oh, let me press the gimbal button. Gimbal is free right now. I don't know what this means. This man, this whole rocket doctor stuff is easy. I'm a I am. I'm a rocket biologist. This is easy stuff. I'm gonna do this in real life. This is super easy. Okay. Look at it. Jeez, wait. Hold up. Why is it over there if I'm... Oh, because when I move, it's gonna... Mm, that's smart. That's very smart. Oh, so now I'm being pulled into, like, the moon's orbit. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so now we want to get into an orbit with the moon, right? Jeez, we're, like, going right towards the moon. Oh, why on the dark side of the moon? I don't want to land over here. I guess if we get into an orbit, I can pick where I get to land. Look at these guys. These guys, are, these guys are all so happy. All right, we're in orbit with the moon. This is honestly pretty circular. We can just pick where we want to land. I guess we want to land like right over here, right? Let's just speed up time some. Let's just get over to the night, light side of the moon. Wow. Look at that. Look at all our guys. They're so happy. Uh, Not for much longer here. We have two pilots. We don't need this. Hey, Trius. Trius, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, Trius. We no longer need your services. You're holding down the ship. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll be fine in orbit in the with the moon forever. I'm back on the rocket. You can just see Trius in the background all the way over there. No one's coming to save him ever. <laughs> you can see the little dot. Look at he has his own orbit. <laughs> Let us begin. Mooning. That's probably not the best word I could use there. All right, so now we're supposed to land on the moon, but we got to slow down is what I'm saying. Well, we don't want to go below zero because then we're going to start going the other way. We just want to burn retrograde pretty much all the way down there. All right, so that's good, honestly. And I'm going to tactically save my game real quick, just in case. Right, we're getting even closer now to the surface. We haven't even started using like our other rocket yet. I equipped this whole thing with another rocket. We don't even need it. We're getting close. I can see our shadow. Oh, we're going straight down now. Okay, I'm going to uh, decouple and extend the landing legs. And we're going to let that crash into the ground while we slowly wait up here. Oh my god, we're actually doing uh, literally the last one. We were celebrating not exploding. Oh, crap, I don't want to go too fast. I, I want to be really low to the ground. We still have a ton of fuel. Come on. No, no, don't, don't go up. We did it. We landed on the moon. Yes. Missions to complete. Oh, who's going to... Why are we sliding? But that's not an issue, as we're going to plant our flag. We did it. As his rocket slowly slides away by him. We did it. Oh, it's okay. Plant flag. We will name it the moon. In memory of lives lost. Uh, now, can we remove his helmet? No atmosphere. This game's no fun. Boo. Dude. Listen, the uh, rocket's sliding away, way over there. I don't really feel like putting you back on. So, you are going to stay here for the rest of eternity. So, uh, good luck with that, man. You know, you're on, dude. Back at the rocket. He's just over there in the distance. <laughs> we still have our guy just in orbit over here. Gidrin right here is going to get back to command. And command's going to be like, hey, where are the other two people that were with you? Huh? Who? What? No, I, I must have got lost. But now we need to get back. And it's time to activate space mode. Farewell, Anri. As we have stuff to do. I'm gonna go like a hard 90 right here. We're gonna get back to home. If we can do this, this is like the this is like the best thing I've ever done in Kerbal Space Program. We just need to get back in orbit, I think. But I think the idea is that you get in orbit and then you can just kind of slingshot yourself back to Earth. So honestly, I might just wait till I'm right here and get myself in a circular orbit. I got us into a now a very circular orbit, meaning that we can just take any angle right here and slingshot back to Earth. I would say right here is good. So it doesn't really matter what. We just need to get into any sort of Earth orbit like that. Goodbye, Moon. We'll miss you. And our um two guys in orbit, you won't be forgotten either. <laughs> They'll be forgotten. All right, then, now that we have an orbit in Earth... We simply just have to burn all the way down to the atmosphere, and we should be good. All right, we have a very dangerous burn up and coming here. Gidrin, you're the last of the Kermans. Do it for your country. And for all those who were, um, like, had to be left behind because there was no other option. 
I'm gonna slow it way down. Come on. Perfect. That was perfect. Now, I'm just going to use the rest of our fuel right here to hopefully slow us down a significant amount. We're back on trajectory to land with the Earth. I'm using all my fuel here to slow us down as much as we can. We're still going extremely fast, though. We should be fine. All right, so I decouple there. We have a heat shield, so that should be good. Here we go. Flames. We're gaining speed. Please tell me we're going to start losing speed as eventually. Oh, we're losing speed. Perfect. We're breaking through the atmosphere. We're doing just fine. We're not even burning up at all. The heat's being dispersed. I think we did it. As we get low, let us deploy our parachute. Is the parachute going to hook on anything? Ah, there it goes. Beautiful. And as we land safely on the ground, let us just take a quick moment to remember all of those who have perished in our wake. Alright, enough with that. Let us take a victory dip in the pond. This is what a winner looks like. And with that, that'll be the end of today's video. I know, it was a different thing. As a matter of fact, if you're still watching right now, why not join my Discord if you haven't already, or become a channel member if you want to support me out. But that'll be where today's video ends here. If you guys like this video, I might make a second one where we try to go rescue the guy stuck on the moon if you want. Just let me know if you would like to see that, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.